Hello and welcome back to our South American Zoo, which I believe we may now have a name for, which we will get onto later in the episode. But there's a couple of things I want to get done today. Firstly is just check in on everyone, make sure they're all happy. Um, but the two things I want to do, I want to get a butterfly walk through somewhere. I'm not sure where's best. It might be over here, I'm thinking. Nice little butterfly walk through, sort of match the Aztec, uh, not the Aztec, sorry, sort of the temple sort of theme. So I'm going to have a butterfly and then on the side have some more drinks, food and drink, um, food and drink shops, that's the word. Um, and secondly is the anteaters, which we have had in the animal storage for ages. Um, I think I started this zoo wanting to get the anteaters, um, got them in and they were expensive. I used all the money um, on a sort of a, a map I didn't like and then restarted. Didn't know I'd still have them, which I do so. Um, a little bit of a, a bonus for the money in there. Yeah, look here are our main wolves. Look at them. Beautiful. Um, so yeah, the first thing is we're going to go for the butterfly walkthrough. I've already bought some butterflies. Um, we can sell you because you're rubbish. Um, but yeah, I've already bought a couple. Um, we need another sulfur. Cloudless sulfur and a monarch. Um, what have we got? We've got a male, so we need a female cloud of sulfur. You're not very good. So I'll leave you for a moment. Um, although we might get you and others as well. Have another male. I don't think it's bad. I did have a couple. Um, so yes, let's get building this walkthrough. So I'm going to build it here next to the group. Um, and then split from group perfect um, so yeah we will keep the sort of the outside as it is um, but I want to get in and build this um, sort of temple sort of thing that I've got an idea for but again we'll see but we will put that in a speed build uh, time lapse just because it may take me a while to figure out what I'm actually going to do so I'll see you back in a second
there we go. Ooh, nowhere near finished, but this is the start of the sort of temple area. Um, so yeah, it's going to really be built up. This is going to be a multi-episode uh, project, this temple, because it's going to be a huge thing um, with lots of shops and everything coming around. But the basics of it is here. Um, so this is the main thing, so we can get the butterflies in. But yeah, that's the basics of it. Um, we need a female, lovely. Good female, we'll get a couple of you. And just so we've got some. Okay, so we've got lots of lane wolves, I'm guessing. Jessica. I'm guessing you're now a young adult. Yes. So, are you the issue, or is it your mother? It's your mother, and she's not got very good genes. You do, right. Let's see if we can find another main wolf and get rid of the two that we started with. <laughs> see if we can find a good male. I mean, Marcus isn't actually too bad. I think we're going to get Marcus and then we're going to send both of these to the storage because they're getting old and then we will have Jessica with Marcus. So send him to quarantine and then bring him over. But yes, anyway, on to the main part of today's episode. It's going to be the anteater. Nice, so the caimans are all done. And the um, So let's have a look. Is there anything new? No, okay. Let's see if we've got anything new for the main wolf. Yeah, we've got a chew toy. We'll give them one of these. Good old chew toy. Um, and a fruit spike tree, really? For a main wolf? Apparently so. Put a couple of them in. That'll be good for them. Guest, hello Christian Costa. Um, have you got any achievements unlocked? Not quite. Okay, let's get on with this episode properly. So, Antita. Let's see what they need. Giant Antita habitats cleanest risk. Okay, yep. Yeah. Keepers, get on that, please. Giant anteater. They need one or two. Okay, cool. That's cool. We've got that. They need, so for two adults, they need 780, so not a huge amount. How many young? Only one. That's nice. Um, oh, they can go in with the capybaras. Did not know that. Um... Not sure if putting them with giant anties is, is a good idea. You know what we might have then? We might make this a two-part episode as well. And have 8 to 40, so we need a lot. Probably not all from the same zoo as well. Let's get a couple of these so they're ready. We're okay getting the females from here, so one, two, three, four, five, 
So we've got one male, so one, so that's two. There's two males, that's three males and five. Okay. So this is going to be a fairly big project then. Um, yeah, I didn't think it was going to be, but it's going to be. So let's add habitat gate in anyway. How do I get rid of the angle snap? Hmm. Not sure. Oh well. Okay, we're gonna go there and then we're gonna have an indoor bit and an outdoor bit. So the indoor bit I think is going to come up over here. Indoor cage bit and then an outdoor. Like that. So then the indoor bits are sort of going to come here. So I'm just going to build another barrier in here. Something like this. Yeah, so that would be the indoor bit and this would be the outdoor bit. Uh, no, that's way, that's not big enough at all. So I'm going to go indoor bit, something like this, outdoor bit, something like this. So let's push this down. Something like this sort of height. And for today's episode, we will just place the anteaters. But in future episodes, when we get to it, we will add in the um, so for the moment, I'm just going to make this wooden. Yeah, so that's all going to be wooden, and then the rest. Um, no, we want it all to be wooden, and then this bit onwards. This bit to here, where we're going to have the rest of it. We'll just put it as steel for the moment. Yeah. 
do that so they can get in and out nicely. Cool, cool, cool. Right, did we send our anteaters to... No, we didn't send our anteaters to the quarantine, so we'll send them to the quarantine. Okay, lovely. And then let's get Marcus out and over to our wolf so they can be nice and friendly diseased animal okay well let's get our vet best vet on here to get it done as quickly as possible so yeah we've done the mesh the mesh is what will change to an indoor climbing area um and then the outdoor bit will stay like this we will change the barrier though eventually but for now um we'll keep it as is because i want to double check I need to double check first about these monkeys and their climbing capabilities because I don't want to build something which they can then climb out of. So I'm going to leave it like this for the moment and then soon enough we will, um, yeah, soon enough we will bring it in and check. Because yeah, I think it'd be nice having them together. It'd be quite nice. But just got to speed up time a little bit. Let's get that done. Um, wait and see for a moment. Hopefully it won't be too long before they're ready. Animals died. Capybara. Old age. And is that another animal? Or is that only one animal? Let's move cow and eel and eel. I don't know how the hell you want to say that. <laughs> Exhibit. Okay, nice. Well, we'll move these ones. Move them into that, and then hopefully. We should have lots of butterflies flying around. Not yet, because we've got no power. Low welfare. Why have you got low welfare? Temperature 28 to 30. 21 to 30 even. Bring that down, see if they're now all happy. Yep, good. Good, let's finish the Q fever. Get that done. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Um, say hello to Puma Pida. Lovely name. <laughs> um, come in here and there yeah we need to learn some stuff about them but we will add them to the work zone there we go and hopefully that will keep them happy so our anteaters are in so let's have a look let's see how happy you guys are I'm guessing not very no so you need soil okay I'm gonna first get rid of the long grass because I don't like it I know you guys don't mind it but I'm not a fan, and then we'll add in some soil. Get a bit of heavy soil in here as well. Okay, cool. So you should be happy with that. Hard shelter, you need some hard shelter, yes. Which you're going to get over here. So temporarily, we're just going to build them. One of these guys. Temporarily, anyway. <clears throat> yeah. Good. Uh, that's not enough. So, build them then, because these are going to be the indoor area in the future. So, let's go for the plants South Central America and Tropical, we're going to go for.
Let's go for some rocks first of all. So this is going to be sort of a the area which they get in and out of up and down from I'm going to put this around as well Nice, Jessica's about to have offspring, lovely. Looks like Marcus has done a good job. But yes, enough of main wolves. We're going to speed this I'm on three times speed, that's a bit too quick. Just putting rocks all the way around, um, which we will then neaten up with some greenery and some bushes. I did have a comment saying about that, saying it'd be nice to see a bit more work done on here. Um, so that is what we will be trying to do from now on. Um, obviously, not every episode is going to be a lot of time spent on this because it does get fairly repetitive and also expensive that's one thing you don't really notice when you play in sandbox as soon as you come over to sort of this sort of area um, sort of franchise and challenge mode anything like that rocks cost a lot I mean the rocks themselves don't but when you um, build them in that's when it costs a lot because of the amount you're placing down. So yeah, I think that'll do for the rocks over there. Um, which bits do I like? Over here I like... For a nice little rocky area. And I will check that out really quickly. Nice uh, caimans. How many have I got? I got a lot. Wow, I've got a lot. Okay, let's have a look at the zoo animals. Let's find this. But crikey, these butterflies. Breed like mad. Wow. Uh, it's, it's a bit quicker than I'd imagine. And yeah, wow, we've got loads. 22. Okay, yeah, right. Well, let's get rid of some of the elder ones. I think we're going to get rid of the oldest ones. So Bartholomew one is the alpha, but Chico has probably got better. I mean, Marcus is the one really wanting the alpha, so we're going to get rid of Bartholomew. Victoria, they're going to all be brothers and sisters, aren't they? Yeah, Bartholomew. Let's check Bartholomew. Siblings 19, okay. We're gonna get rid of all of the siblings. All of these ones anyway. Release them to the wild, 62. We can't release Victoria, why can we not release Victoria? Is she injured?
No, she's not injured. That's fine. Good, okay, we finished this. So let's get our giant anti to done. Okay, yep, so this these again, as I say, are only temporary to keep um them happy. That's not what you want. A dead llama and all your guests standing in there watching. Really not what you want, is it? <laughs> oh well. But yes, so let's get these guys some food. Um Okay, food and water, get you a couple of food bowls. We'll give you one here where it's the indoor area is going to be. One there, one there. A water pipe I want to have just over here. I'm also going to give them a water trough just there as well. And food bowl on here. Okay, let's go for enrichment. So forage box, lovely. Put that there and put some more rocks around it. A large pool. Give you one of those. Plant screen. Yeah, you can have a plant screen. Put one. Over here. Rubbing a couple of these in. And then a slow feeder as well. And we could give them another forage box just over here. Nice, so that's that for all of their bits and bobs. Now let's go back to the nature and get some trees and things in. We need some water. Where are we going to put some water? I think water is going to go right in the middle. water area like that and then let's give them some lilies around the water ah oh, banana palms I like banana palms gonna put yeah over here Wow, that is huge. We don't want one of them. Yeah, I think we'll go for one of these in the middle. Remember, we are going to need some climbing stuff for the monkeys in the future, but we'll get to that in a minute. So we might add some climbable trees in here as well. So a couple of these and in there, which gives some climbing space. Um, Get this around. This is really nice bushes actually. Put some flowers in here.
like that. And you guys should be more than happy with that. Yeah, you are, and you're going for a little swim. Lovely. Where's the other one? Are they still sleeping in the bushes? Yes. Look at you, having a nice little swim. Let's change the colour of the water. Oh, no, I don't like that. Of clean water. Oh, yeah, happy with that. That looks cool. So they should be nice and happy now. Um, they should be nice and happy while we wait for the other, for our monkeys to come through. So yeah, the monkeys won't be yet. There's a couple of more things. There's a couple of things I want to do before I get to the monkeys, but the monkeys will be coming soon. Um, and when they do, this will need a whole revamp. So this, as I said, this area here is going to be an indoor climbing area, um, and then the rest of it is going to be slightly different. So let's get some educational stuff in here for these guys. Giant anteater, giant anteater, giant anteater, giant anteater. Nice. No cry for three months, lovely. That research is complete. Is that the main wolf finished? Nope, it's giant anteater. First mark. Hello, Joe. So that's me. Hello, myself. <laughs> Alright, let's get a couple. Donation bins over here. There's loads of litter around here. So, wow, there's loads of butterflies in there. It's nice to see. So, yeah, I want to get some no donation bins over here for the anteaters. More offspring. Crikey, these butterflies are mad. Let's get a couple more bins in. And then some bins over here by the temple. Because it is an absolute mess. Over here. Okay, that would be good for that. Hopefully our Jonas is going to come and clear up all of this rubbish because there is a lot of it. But yeah, so I think from here it looks quite good. The temple area is starting to look good. And then again, we haven't done much on here at all. Um, a lot more will be done in the future. But we will keep these guys here for the moment um, until we add our monkeys in, which will come soon. Um, but one thing I'd want to add in soon is the, let's see if I can find them, the Jaguar. So we need a male and a female. The only thing is they are very expensive. Um, I mean, they're not too bad, but yeah, they're, they're very expensive. Um, actually, let's go by price, cheapest first. So we could get. There, there, there's 
plenty to get. Um, it's just getting them for the right price. I think Chico Inc. is doing it all lovely. Although, again, we can't get the female and the male from the same one in case they're siblings. So, we might struggle a little bit. Although, we could get this female 400, she's not huge. And this male, I think we're gonna do it. We're doing it. Chico Inc. and Maxwell Safari. Chico Inc. has been an absolute savior today. They've got us so many things. Um, so yeah, he's doing really well with that. So yes, that will be for the next episode, um, which I'm really looking forward to. So. In that episode we will get this bit done as well um well no we won't in fact we'll wait till we get the monkeys before we come back to this uh to the anteaters but i think the jaguars are going to come over here near the temple so i'll have next episode i'll have a bit more work in the temple and have the jaguars sort of in this sort of area here um and i think that will look really nice so thank you for watching um and i hope you've enjoyed this video not a lot done um i mean we've done this there's not a lot of work has gone into it because we were waiting for the monkeys before we really finish it off but there's lots of foliage for them to sort of wander around and get cover um sort of get a bit of shade and stuff in just gonna move this reset that so it's not floating um <clears throat> but yeah as i say i want to put them in with the monkeys because i think it'd be cool so we'll have that um but yes, if you've got any comments, please leave them down below. Um, we have had lots of comments recently, which I'm really grateful for. It's nice to see people watching and getting involved in commenting. Um, oh, I need to sort this out as well. But yeah. Um, so before we go, we will go on to the zoo name, which um, I was really struggling for names, and um, I know I have been asking, but thanks to Court 1996, we're going to be going for south valley zoo which i really like because obviously kind of in not really in a, in a valley but almost um, well i guess you could say it's um but yeah it's it brings in the south american it adds to that um and yeah i really like the name of south valley i live in somewhere um i live in a valley well on the top of valley and it's just the most amazing thing it has the most amazing views and I think this zoo is starting to come along, like up here, if you look up here, what a view, it's such a nice view, looking down. So yeah, we're going to be going for South Valley Zoo. Um, so, I hope you've enjoyed watching, and we'll see you next time in South Valley Zoo. So, thank you for watching, and until next time, bye-bye.